This may not this may be something that I've drawn in the past. However, what you saw was just a prototype of before it was released. Tonight we're going to draw the real version of Cell Max. As you saw on Dragon Ball Super Hero, Cell Max was created to be a an exact copy for Cell when he, after his fight against Gohan in the Cell games, Dr. Hito created him to be the ultimate superhero machine. Unfortunately, one of his allies had screwed up and set him free. His core processor, that's what he looks like on his skull. If he were to uh, properly uh, control it, our heroes would have to face a very strong Cell Max after he was whole. And to be honest, Cell Max would have been better off as a good guy. Everyone knows Cell Max is the uh, main character for... Uh, this show. Here's the chest. Here's his lower half. Here's his feet that are the main part of Cell Max's body. And here's his tail. Instead of a stinger, Cell Max has a really large wrecking ball. He uses it to swing away his enemies. He's like an Ankylosaurus. I know Cell Max was only shown in only one movie. I just hope he comes back. There might be m more times Cell Max will return. He did show up in the top 5 strongest arc back when he battled against Goku in the top 5 strongest arc when Budo was disguised as him. That was very uh, smart. Goku never saw Cell Max before, so why not summon him now?
Gohan should explain more about Cell Max in order to find out more about him. There we go. Here's Cell Max's shoulder pad. Now for the... Now for the rest of him. Here are his fingers. One last thing to draw, and that's the wings. There we are. That's one. And the other one is right here. And finished. There he is. That is how you draw Cell Max. There is more on the way.